What's up guys, do 1940 here. We are back with the trade day results video. So, uh, yeah, let's jump right into this. It is uh, about, I think, 25 minutes or so until these expire. So uh, let's check and see if we have any trades. All right, yeah, 25 minutes. Uh, so no trades on my Camillary for the second trade day in a row. All right, so uh, looks like I'm not going to be able to trade away Camillary. Uh, I'm not sure if I'll sell them or maybe I'll keep using them. Who knows? Um... Ryan Johansson, also no offers. That kind of surprised me because Johansson actually goes for a little bit. And uh, he is the star player of Columbus right now. So uh, that's a little surprising. But I could still use him up for my uh, for my team. Uh, Andrew Ladd has a trade offer. All right, so the captain of Winnipeg has a uh, trade offer. Um, Dion Phaneuf as well. All right, he's got a trade offer. The captain of the Maple Leafs. And then lastly, yep, Marion Gabbard with a trade offer. All right, that, that's good. All right, so first up, Andrew Ladd. Not looking for too much for Andrew Ladd. Uh, he only goes for well, one, one to two thousand, maybe three. Uh, I'm not exactly sure, but uh, let's see what we've got for him. All right, Nick Benino and Nicholas Jalmerson and one thousand five hundred. I'm gonna take that because I think Benino and Jalmerson combined would go for about fifteen hundred, uh, and then with the fifteen hundred coins, you're getting about three thousand there, which is just enough for uh, Andrew Ladd. So yes, I'm going to accept that. And those are two players I can use as well. John Morrison can fit on my third defensive pairing. And uh, Nick Benino could be my third line center. So it's actually really good. Yeah, yeah. so it actually go for more than I thought. So I can get about 3500 for that deal. So thank you for sending in that offer. I definitely appreciate it. All right, I'm now up to 11000 All right, so Dion Phaneuf, the captain of the Toronto Maple Leafs. Let's see what we got. Ooh, Jeff Skinner in 500. I actually did want to get my hands into Jeff Skinner. He goes for about the same, actually pretty much the same exact amount, about 2.5 to 3.5K. Um, so yeah, Jeff Skinner, I mean, I, I wanted him just because of his stats. I mean, you look at it, I mean, 89 skating, 88 shot, 87 hands. He's actually not too bad of a checker and a defender either. So, uh, so yeah, Jeff Skinner, thank you for sending in that offer. I'm definitely accepting that one. He's going right on my first line as well. So I'm going to have to bump down Chris Kreider, but that's all right. So Jeff's going to get 3200 There we go. That was an excellent deal. All right, now lastly, the uh, the highlight of the trade day, Marion Gabrick. I bought him uh, for about $10,000. Uh, he only goes for about 8000 I think, now, eight or nine. And uh, it just didn't really work out for me here in... Uh, on my team, but uh, let's see what offer we have for him. Miku Koivu. Hmm, that's interesting. Miku Koivu, I have no idea what he would go for. Hmm, the captain of the Minnesota Wild. I'm actually going to have to check. Miku Koivu, I'm just trying to think, would I... Where would I fit him? I was my first line center is Bozak. He could be my first line center. He definitely could be, because he's, he's well-rounded. I mean, 87, 87, 88, 87, 86... Definitely a well-rounded player. He's actually a lot better than last year. I think he was only 87 last year. So I'm actually going to check to see how much he goes for. Um, center, playmaker, Minnesota. It's not a bad player, straight up, but I, I just want to see if it's worth it, uh, coins-wise. Finland. So Koivu, 8,000. Uh, actually, wait, I'll, I'll put up the minimum price so I only see Koivu's. Uh, gold, minimum price, put it at 3000 There you go. So you take out all the, uh, the Grandlands. All right, 8009 yeah, this is, this is a good deal. He's got a bit of almost 8000 Yeah, this is a good deal. He goes for pretty much the same as Marion Gabrick. He's a good player. He'll fit on my first line. I'm definitely going to take that. And Marion Gabrick, thank you for your services, but, uh, Miku Koivu, three overalls better. I will, uh, I will definitely take that. Koivu actually has better hands than Gabbard, it looks like, and a lot better checking in defense. So, thank you for sending in that offer, Miku Koivu. Welcome to my team. He will fit right in the first line. He could possibly fit the, uh, that captaincy role. Who knows? It'll probably take us quite a few episodes to, uh, to elect our uh, captains for this team. No one's really stood out too much thus far. All right, so Johansson and Camilleri will wait for those guys to expire. And then I'll possibly uh, get those guys. Actually, one last thing I want to do in this video. I might want to do one last thing in this video. I'm not just. I'm not so sure yet. 
Um, all right, so let's in insert Koivu and Bonino. And actually, I just realized I can only insert one of them. Or no, no, no. I, I can insert two of them. Yeah. All right, so first off, uh, take out Bolin. Bolin's a good player, but Bonino, a little less skating, but he's got a better hands and better shot. Yeah, I'll put in Nick Bonino. You guys send him in to me, so uh, I'll use the player. I like to use the players that you guys send in to me, just so you, uh, just so you can see the the player on the uh, on the team. And that's another thing, you know, if you like this guy for all I know, he could have been a Minnesota Wild fan, you know, and that's that's one thing that you guys can do because, um, you know, if there's a player up for trade and you guys, uh, you know, want to send in an offer and there's a player, you know, maybe Miku Koivu is this guy's favorite player. Not saying that he is. Um, but, you know, if you guys want to see me, like, if you guys want to see me use one of your favorite players and, like, all the, like, the commentaries and stuff, then, uh, you know, if you send him in, obviously I'm going to use that player. I'm not saying to send me, like, a player that's ridiculously, like, you know, more valuable than the player I'm putting up. I'm not saying that at all. But, um, you know, just, just kind of like that sort of thing. Um, you know, maybe that guy's a, a Koivu fan, who knows. And now he gets to see me use him in the, uh, the upcoming videos. All right, so move down, Kreider. Um, Gabrick is out. I'm trying to think that I have another forward. Uh, yeah, Camilleri. Camilleri, that's right. It's so Camilleri. Hmm, wait, I'm trying to think. Uh, Gabrick. He went for the center. Yeah, so. So, yeah, that, that's actually perfect. Yeah, because, um, Camilleri is my second line right winger. Um, Ryan Johansson's going to be my third line center. Maybe I'll bump him up to second. Who knows? Um, Jeff Skinner's going to be my first line left winger. Now, in this video, I want to search, uh, along with the trade day results, I want to search for a first line right winger. I already have a player in mind. You guys can probably guess who that is, uh, me being a Rangers fan. But uh, just, to, just to make sure, I'll check all the teams. Uh, by now maximum, I'll put it at 11,000. I'm willing to spend all the coins that I have right now on a first line right winger. I need to I definitely need to start scoring more goals in these uh these online game episodes. I'll put the buy now minimum up to I'll put it up to three thousand. Just because there are some good players for cheap, just like Jeff Skinner. Um gold. Alright, so right wingers. Alright, so Blake Wheeler, nah Blake Wheeler, he's I, I don't really want a power forward up there. Palmanville, Palmanville's pretty good. But, uh, but now nah, I'm, I'm alright. Uh, Pacioretty, that's a really good player. That's a Max Pacioretty. Uh, Oshi, no thanks. I could buy Gabrick back, but no, I'm not, I'm not gonna do that. Uh, Jakob Voracek. Ooh, that might not be bad. The only thing about Voracek, though, he's not the speediest player. But he's having an incredible year this year, that's for sure. Gabrick Camilleri. Camilleri. Uh, Oshi. Evander Kane. Who put him on his off wing. 88 skating. Yeah. Hey, Vander Kane's not bad. He's got good checking as well. Bobby Ryan. Nah, for whatever reason, I would love to use Bobby Ryan, but I never have any luck with him in these uh, in these NHL games. I don't know why. Ryan Callahan, he'd be a good player for, like, the second or third line eventually, but, uh, but not right now. Uh, Alexander Semmons got some pretty good offensive stats. Ah. Uh, Hummonville. Wow, is that it? All right, I'll just show you guys the player that I was thinking of. I was thinking of Marty St. Louis on the Rangers, but I don't know if he might actually be more than 11K. I thought there was one that was less than 11. I'll just bump this up to 11.5 to see if there was one at 11.5. But uh, Well, there is. Why didn't I see it? Hold on. Oh, did it just glitch? Hold on. NHL, right wings, gold. I think the page just glitched. Yeah, let's go through these again. Uh, let's go to the third page, I think it was, or the fourth page. Yeah, here we are. Uh, Tarasenko. Uh, Tarasenko's good, but I, I'm looking for a really good player. Oposo. Nah. Four check for only 5K. Burner, Skinner, Oposo, Bobby Ryan. Uh, another Voracek. Brent Burns. Yeah, that's weird. 
Uh, I searched right winger. He's listed as a two-way defenseman, but I guess because he used to be a right winger, he's up there. That's weird. So could you use him in both positions and still get full chemistry? That'll be uh, that'll be interesting to find out if you uh, if you can do that. Burns Kane. Is Evander Kane an actual right winger? I thought we saw Evander Kane was a left winger. Or a lot of people just putting uh, change position on him. I'm pretty sure he's a left winger, but maybe they switched him over. Uh, I have no idea. It's cool for me, though, because I love to use uh, players, especially snipers, on their off wings. Uh, Landeskog, 88. Nice. It's not very quick. Callahan. Marty St. Louis, there he is. Uh, Marty St. Louis, the only thing, though, with Marty St. Louis is that he's he gets knocked off the puck easily. That's the only thing. I would love to pick up Marty St. Louis eventually, but he's just, I don't know. I, I would love to get Marty St. Louis in a trade or something like that, but as of right now, he's just, uh, it just just based on using him on like online verses and all that kind of stuff, he's just, he gets knocked off the puck way too easily. I mean, in real life, his, his 5'8", you know, height doesn't really matter too much, but in this game, it really matters. You know, you compare a guy like Pat Gerretti to to Marty St. Louis, and I think Pat Gerretti would be a lot better of a uh, pickup. Uh, ooh, Milan Lucic, 92 checking. Oh, my God. Uh, Hoodler, Yager. Man, Yager, 86 overall. Man, he's he's good. He's nice and slow, though. <laughs> Hold on. Let, let me just search left wingers. Maybe there's a good left winger available that I can maybe switch over to the right wing. Who knows? Uh, Pat Gerretti... Franz and Vanek. Nah, Vanek's slow. I tried using him last year. I tried using his hut live. It just didn't didn't really work for me. Yeah, I'm not seeing any uh actually there's an Evander Kane right there. I'm I'm pretty confident he's a left wing. I, I know he's I know he's a left wing. He has to be. Wait, six point five. Hmm. I don't think I'll be able to get them both. I I actually want to see something. I like Max Pacioretty and Evander Kane. Let's see if I can get them both. Uh, power forward. Let's try to find the cheapest patch you're writing, the cheapest uh, Vander Kane. Alright, 8.6, 6.5. Alright, yeah, 6.5 is the cheapest by now. Let's see if anybody switched them over to right wing. Nah, 6.5 is still the cheapest. There was a 6.4 there, but I'd rather go for the left winger, I think. Right, left wing sniper. All right, so six point five. So if I can find any Vander Kane for less than four or four, right? Um, six point five. No, if I, if I can find any Vander Kane for five K or less, that'd be good. Uh, Winnipeg. Five point five five. Now, oh, that one's just at five. Maybe I'll have enough. Maybe, maybe. Let me check right wing sniper because I know there were a few. Yeah, I know he's a left wing. I know he's a left wing. He's not a right wing. 4.7, yeah. Yeah, Evander Kane. I'm going to try to get them both. Yeah, I'm going to try to get them both. This one for 4.7K. Evander Kane is going to be my new first line right wing. Uh, Evander Kane, I'm not the biggest fan of his in real life, but uh, in the game, he's, uh, he's a pretty good player. I just don't like his attitude in real life. I mean, just in, you know, the past couple of years, I mean... Uh, when the Winnipeg Jets became the Winnipeg Jets again, you know, he refused to, uh, to give up his number because, um, you know, one of the, uh, when the Winnipeg Jets were still a franchise, they were tired, um, the number nine, and, uh, he was too stubborn to give it up, so, um, there was that, and then it was, of course, him favoriting a tweet saying, uh, he was gonna get traded to Montreal at last year's draft, or, not Montreal, um, Philadelphia, at last year's draft in Philly. Um, what you got? I mean, what are you thinking? Um, 6.5. Yeah, 6.5 is the cheapest. All right, so let's go for Max Patrick. I, I don't really like the, uh, I don't like the, um, actually, now that I think about it, Skinner. Actually, you know what? Yeah, I'll, I'll buy the, uh, I'll buy the right wing one. I, I like using players on their off wings. And, uh, I, I just don't like the Carolina change team on there. I like players on their original teams. Just looks better. All right, so Max Patch, you're ready. Yeah, big, big power forward there. All right, so I'm down to 300 coins, but that's all right. I picked up two huge power forwards. 
or Evander Kane is technically a sniper in this game, but two big bodies that can score goals. That's what I'm talking about. Both going to go right on the team. All right, there we go. So we definitely improved the team in this episode. We picked up Nicholas Chalmerson, Nick Benino. Um, who was it? Um, Miku Koivu. Now Max Pacioretty and Evander Kane. So let's just insert those guys in the lineup. How to play a right wing. Uh, or no, the list does the left wing. I forgot. Left wing. When you put the change team on, it doesn't change the, like, uh, the thing. All right, so Evander Kane. Now I'm going to put Evander Kane in the first line. There we go. And then the second line. Max Pacioretty. There we go. And then the first line. Insert... Jeff Skinner. There we go. Camilleri will go on the... Do I want to sell Camilleri? I'll probably just sell Camilleri. Just because I like Chris Stewart and Michael Bodker down here. Because Bodker is a pretty fast scorer. I like uh, Mikel Bodker. And uh, Chris Stewart's that nice, tough power forward down there in the fourth line. I like that fourth line. So, uh, so yeah, I'll probably just keep him there. Zuccarello, he could poss possibly be a guy that we... Uh, we swap out the future for another player. Kreider, bump him down at the third line. Put another player in there. But yeah, our team looks drastically like different. And just imagine uh, Ryan Johansson in this middle spot. I mean, we added two 87s, an 88, and an 89, as well as an 85 to our forwards. And defensively, we added uh, Nicholas Jalmerson, so I'll put him in the lineup. I'll swap my collection. There we go. Jalmerson actually got a bump in overall. He's now 86. 87 checking and 88 defense. So yeah, he's definitely a good defensive defenseman to go alongside of uh, Mark Fain. All right, so that's going to do it for this episode, guys. The next episode will be another online game featuring this team. I, I can't wait to use these guys. It's going to be a, a lot of fun in Division 9. But uh, if you guys did enjoy, um, please leave a like. And if I accepted any of your trades, please make sure to leave it in the comments below. Um, I'll be sure to thank you. Um, but yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next video.